Okay, so what I'm going to do today is go through some of my uh, Alpha Answer Oods on Atars. I'm not going to go through all of them because as you can see I've got quite quite a few. So the main one we're going to talk about today is Ood Maluku. So I've actually got this on me now so I'm uh, sniffing it. If, if I pause I'm taking sniffs and I, I'm taking it in. So for me this is very very you can tell it's part of uh, the the Kalimantan Oud you know it's, it, you can tell it's that part of region um, I would say it's not as deep and intense as an Oud Kalimantan but I would also say that that is probably also a good thing because this one I feel you can use this all day every day um, it's not going to offend anyone it's not really stinky skanky -ood. you know the Kalimantan sort of uh, DNA is kind of more of a it's kind of more of like a it's got a bit of a smoky thing going on but not too much um, it's very different from Cambodian or Indian uh, as a lot of you know who watch my channel Indian Ood is my favourite so for me this is quite light um, but that's just my taste so I'm, I'm going to try and be as uh, non-biased as I can so yeah it starts out very much like a Kalimantan but a lighter version so if you find I think Personally, I think this would be a good oud for people who are not really into oud, if that makes sense. It's not really that challenging. Um, it's not going to you know, repulse you. It's not a really heavy, stinky oud. It's, it's, it's pleasant. That's the best way I could put it. It's pleasant. And uh, I've had this for about a week now. Um, I think I was probably the first person to buy it, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I've just been getting used to it, using it probably three or four, uh, I don't know, maybe four or five days, maybe. And uh, yeah, it, it's pleasant. No one's repulsed. I've had people comment on it. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd recommend it. And also, uh, I want to go through the packaging as well. Because a lot of people probably haven't seen the packaging uh, this is the new uh, certificate of authenticity I'll show you the old one in a minute but now it's in gold it's a nice touch really um, comes in a nice box so it doesn't get crushed in the it crushed in the mail or anything like that and get that open uh, I only got the three mil because you know, I've got that many, I don't really need too many. Um, oh, focus in. What are you doing? Try and focus that shit. There we go. So there's the uh, the nice bowl. Got a felt on the bottom as well. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about these bottles is the, uh, the tag on it. Because I find that when you undo the top, the tag slips down and it's a bit of a pain getting it back on without trapping it in there because you have to sort of hold it up and twist it in that's you know just a personal thing for me so as you can see the consistency is I wouldn't say it's one of the thickest dudes I've had from our Francie but you know it's got a bit of viscosity to it the colour again is very Kalimantan in its uh, colour as you can see it's like a more of like an orangey brown sort of colour and a lot of Kalimantans are and Borneo are that kind of colour I've noticed anyway uh, the glass oh. Oh, I don't even know why I'm opening this actually the glass dipstick in there is very good So yeah, overall, 
Uh, is it worth the money that it's uh, going for? Yeah, I think it is. I think it's a good addition. It's not identical to a Kalimantan. Um, but, the, you know, the way I'm saying it is, if you know the Kalimantan kind of oud, then you'll know this one. Uh, very similar. Uh, they have a lot in common. This is obviously a lighter version. And I do really like it. And all